Uh, hello, you beautiful nerds. Welcome to Drunk Banthas Podcast, where we talk about sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and all the popular art that we love. Also, we do it drunk. I'm joined, as always, you hear that? That's the clinking of drinks. Clinks. <laughs> uh, I'm joined, as always, by my brother, Bill. How you doing? I'm drunk! <laughs> My name is Alex, and today we are just gonna, uh, I mean, that's, yeah, that's the name of the show. We, we're, we're here to drink and talk about nerd stuff. Yeah, it's, it's to be expected. Uh, today, we are discussing the new Marvel original series, Moon Knight, uh, the first two episodes, at least. Uh, it stars Oscar Isaac, Ethan Hawke, and May L. Kalamawe. Um, what, what did you think of this show? And were you familiar with this? It's on. <laughs> or what did you think of like the first two episodes rather yeah. like uh, uh how do you think how, what do you feel mm. about the, the way it started and uh like how did you like how familiar were you with the comic book character before well watching first the before i say how i felt i'd like for everybody who's listening right now to take the opportunity and the time to go ahead and put your comment and tell yeah. us how you felt how do you, know how you feel. like this show we'll so wait far. we'll wait if you want, no. to like the, you want to skip to minute 13. Yeah, you want to skip to minute 13 right now. Wait a minute, what minute is it? Uh, okay, yeah, you know, skip to three minutes and 13 seconds. <laughs> and then we will start the, the pot. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, subscribe right now because let us know what you think. Because I myself am on the fence, as I am usually for all of our listeners this mm-hmm. early in a series. Mm-hmm. I'm on the fence. Okay, uh, you ain't gonna get me Disney with your music and your graphics. <laughs> and your, holy pokey pokey! Oh, look at my <laughs> Oscar Isaac. We've got him on <laughs> two different platforms. You know, <laughs> hey, you know, look this Poe. Oh no, it's Stephen Grant. <laughs> it's like I'm not gonna fall for all the sugar. Where they could be, <laughs> where it could be leading me to poison. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. Yeah, I feel you. So, I, but I so far, you... so okay. Okay. I feel like we haven't gotten enough suit, so mm-hmm. I feel like maybe we're gonna get mucho mucho suit to make up for that. Mm-hmm. Right. But until that happens, I can't be the speculator. I have to be the regulator. Can't be the mark spec. To you later. Ooh, <laughs> see, baby, oh, yeah. we bring the funny live and <laughs> in action. Uh, it's very nice yeah. of you to say that. That was funny. Uh, I but, mean, we don't uh, even rhyme. We don't even. We don't even write the podcast down, y'all. <laughs> we just get up here and we riff. Right. So. Oh, I mean, I do. I. You're don't you say also very nice. Of, <laughs> you're right. You know what? You're don't right. You just we don't fucking... write extensive notes at all. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you mess up my whole? Uh, Why did you mess up my thing? You got your. Uh, uh, I just look before we get into the first two episodes. Uh, I, I do like it so far. There's some things that I, uh, that I find kind of ridiculous. Uh, but the the shows pretty good so far oscar isaac's you know acting his ass off i really always like him um and the story i actually like the 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 slow burn the first episode i really liked the fact that we didn't really see the, i like the, the costume burn, until yeah. the, the 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 end first episode i think was a lot stronger than the second right <laughs> but I, that's what i was gonna say is like they basically did the slow burn in the second episode and i don't think you can really do that unless you're gonna just right. do both episodes back to back like you know release them at the same time right there's no reason to have a slow burn episode one and then a slow burn episode two as well like it's like watching two episode ones <laughs> yeah with was, one not being as strong or ending as strong as the first right yeah it would have even been more interesting if because i don't even think that the plot was really uh moved along that much further in the second episode either. No, not like, at all. I would have sacrificed for like another like a cool action scene with M- Moon Knight for like another episode for like some like really good story, but I don't really feel like we even got that in the second episode. I mean, episode. I feel like you can get good story and have the action scene cuz they didn't really tell you nothing. They spent a whole 40 minutes not really telling you anything more than they already told you in the first episode. Right. They just like so, clarified could, some things. Like I told yeah, you. Yeah, but not really. They keep fucking doing this in TV shows these days. They'll fucking do an episode and then they'll tell you what they did the la- in the second episode. They'll Instead of like right, just like letting clarify, you just, yeah. yeah, like 
I know that he can talk to Mark in the <laughs> reflections. I got that. You didn't have to take a whole episode to yeah. try to go through that and <clears throat> drag that out and really clarify. Right. And these are the specifics of how this works. Like, <laughs> nigga, I get it. Right. The, yeah, the classic Disney model of not show, and show, don't tell, but they show and tell and then show you again. Well, it's because what I what I what I do in moments like that is remember like for instance when he changes into the suit for Fallen in episode 2 and he changes mm-hmm. into the suit and it's a suit suit and he does all this silly shit right. and blah blah blah. I felt like that like I when I when that kind of stuff happens I remember there's majority kids watching. That. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that, yeah. they 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 D- Disney does have a fiduciary responsibility to placate towards right. children for a, a, at least a little bit yeah it's still yeah like uh, yeah I, I, we'll, and we'll get to that a little bit because like i did like i did like the costume and the change but then i feel like it was kind of weirdly executed like in a kind of silly way but right, that, yeah well yeah we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get to that later um but yeah i i, I, def- I totally agree um but uh, <laughs> Do we like it? I don't know yet. <laughs> let's let's dive into it. Uh, yeah, first maybe episode. Maybe we should do do you like it at the end the next <laughs> next time we do a brand new show. Right. Cause, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because that's kind of like the, the we clearly the, don't like most stuff when it starts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, do, I mean it's like we don't hard, know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's we're clearly it's, unwilling to go. It's hard coming. Out. I love this shit. Or. <laughs> If if we were talking about the first episode, I probably would have felt a if lot. If we were talking about differently, if we were talking about a different show, maybe, <laughs> I mean, like, there's very few shows that are going to do that for me, right? Like Raised by Wolves, I was like, all right, I'm fucking with this. Yeah, you know what I mean, like uh, Archer, first mm-hmm. episode of that, really? Hooked oh me. yeah, hooked me dead. I don't remember what the first episode of Archer was. Fucked I up, think, motherfucker. Actually, you know, I remember what the episode it was. It was the uh, it was the episode where Cyril tries to uh, <laughs> uh, he he tries to impress the company, by, but he like ends up infecting the whole company with a virus. Uh, that was like the first one I saw. Well, that you know what we should do? Put it in the comments if you want us to talk about Archer. You guys. <laughs> oh gosh, oh man, that would take so long. <laughs> no, wouldn't we could just start all the way from the beginning and then just. Yeah, that wouldn't take that wouldn't take very long. I'm just, just saying, like, like maybe five six years. <laughs> yeah, hey, look, that's what keeps us on YouTube for five six more years at least. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, we got uh, like in the very beginning of the episode, we're introduced to Stephen Grant, uh, museum worker. Hello, my name is Stephen. Mild mannered Stephen Grant. Mild mannered. Obviously, yes. he's already dealing with these like blackouts where he's you know tyler durden and all over the place where he does there's shit been a man not. an american man inside my body and he has been taking over while i'm sleeping and, and so really i haven't been sleeping it's very disturbing ladies and gentlemen i'm not sure if you guys realize stephen grant just walked into the building <laughs> <laughs> and he just he just jumped right in front of bill's microphone i mean like i mean the, well, well the thank you for coming uh well, it's no problem. It was, I was busy, but please don't lock me back up. Please. I, I mean, please. It was very, very kind of you to show up. I appreciate it. You know, we first first special guest. Oh, no, second special guest. Oh, yes. Uh, well, but. Yes. <laughs> Guests. Uh, there are three of me. You know, you know since you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, since you got, I guess, touched on it a little bit, uh, but what's uh, what do you think of Oscar Isaac's accent? Because apparently he's been getting some like, shit. shit about his accent. I think he's doing a bad accent on purpose to do a bad accent of a guy who's American trying to pretend to be British because he's not British. Right. He's living in London, being British. And then we haven't even been introduced to what's supposed to be his third alter ego um, or split personality, which is another dude. I can't remember his name. Jesse? John? Uh, okay. So with Jay. Do you think that they're going <coughs> to go... That, so that's a character from the comics, I'm assuming. All, so there's three characters. And yeah, like he has three personalities himself. Okay, right. And then oh, okay, there's so Conchu. Mm, okay, got you. Okay, 
So yeah, like so. Do you think that they're gonna go with the third uh, for with the other guy? Do you think that this is like? It seems like this is gonna be it for the show. Um, his third guy is like Batman's. What's he? What's he call himself when he's undercover? Oh, matches Malone. Matches Malone. <laughs> matches Malone. That is it. That's great. Hey. You know, it's funny. I was like, My before name you <laughs> matches Malone. <laughs> Uh, before I, the taxi driver, one of the things. Sorry, what actually what were we about to say about matches below? Well, I was gonna say the third version of uh, Mark Spector slash Steve Stephen Grant is supposed to be Moon Knight's version of Matches Malone. He goes right. out and get information on the street. Okay, you know he's street dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. Is that when he usually dress? Does he dress up in that? Suit yeah, he like dresses that up one? in that. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. Steve Grant's character yeah. is supposed to be like the playboy, rich okay. guy. But yeah, uh, they've changed his name to Stephen Grant, so maybe they won't do the third personality. But who uh, knows? Maybe they'll say that for a season. Dude. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it gets a little bit crazier. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. But the the idea is like maybe he was already crazy. Right. Yeah, like, I like that 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 aspect because I, I I I'm assuming yeah like he he always had um multiple personality disorder or uh mul- or uh, I forget what dissociative identity disorder. Oh uh, man, you didn't have to do that. Nobody, was, <laughs> nobody forget- really listened to this podcast. <laughs> no, I, mean, I just forget. I forget. <laughs> like, if nobody's like, gonna be mad. I was just, I was trying to sound smart because I knew the name. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, um, yeah, like, uh, it's. I like the idea that they like he was already dealing with this issue before he even like I guess had this other creature <coughs> possessing him, giving him powers. So spoiler alert! Literally cut off right now and go to 30 seconds from now. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Don't come back. So I'm about seconds. to tell you a little bit about the comic book. Okay. And that's what it's going to ruin. Oh, damn. Should I? Right should, I should I? So, <laughs> no, so um, the trick is, I just forgot. So somebody just skipped for no reason. So Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Uh, somebody skipped to the 30 second mark for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> now they over here like, Oh man, uh, he didn't even say anything, <laughs> man. Oh, God damn, oh, man. man. I feel bad because I feel like I made you forget. Yeah, with you my did, spoiler but, warning thingies. <laughs> yeah, you did, but it's all good. I forgot. It's all good. Hey, people, thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this first of all, this we have, we haven't had a sponsored podcast in a while, and this podcast is sponsored by Hoes. Hoes never let go. They'll never give up. Hoes, they out here working when it's hot, they working when it's cold. <laughs> they, too, work for you as long as you pay every day. What, what you, is this? This is a sponsor. <laughs> this, is, this is a commercial. This is not our sponsor. This is our sponsor. We you are do, not you, sponsored you don't even by handle, hoes. You, we are sponsored by hoes. They, and, and if you, if you <laughs> fuck with hoes and you give them promo code Drunk Banthas, you two can get a free <laughs> night. Okay, we of are your not, service of choice. <laughs> this, so we are not sponsored by hoes or we're sponsored prostitutes. By <laughs> See, he called them uh, prostitutes. He's a, he is. A you're a, you're sexist, describing terrible, terrible you're sexist, describing. sexist, ma- so, toxic, exchanging. masculine man. <laughs> I'm that's gonna, what he, that's between, what you are. And you're Z, describing exchanging money for sex. <laughs> no, I'm not. I told well, for you for an evening. I hey. What you do with your money and your time and your <laughs> business, as long as you use the promo code Drunk Panthers. <laughs> Look, uh, you can go be running the accountant side. I run the accountant side. Marketing <laughs> comes through me. And then look, I take whatever sponsors we can get. If you want to sponsor the Drunk Panthers podcast, just hit us up on Drunk Panthers. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All platforms. Just uh, hit us up. But anyway, uh, after, uh, so yeah, like, we're introduced to Stephen Grant. He's having these blackouts, going out and doing crazy shit. Uh, and then after he goes to sleep, he already like has this weird situation where he uh, supposedly asked out a girl without him knowing, uh, without him remembering. Right. But she never said his name. Uh, did she not call him Stephen? Or I guess she didn't. No, she didn't no. call him Steven. And so I, that's what leads me to believe that that might be the third guy. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because they Cause, didn't really explain that. 
because Mark wouldn't be like out here just talking macking on bitches because why would he be macking on bitches? He's right. like concerned about the scare of and all that shit. Right. And yeah. And wife. Yeah. Right. Like why would he be doing that? Yeah. It's clearly not Mark. Clearly not. I mean, it's, I mean, it's clearly not Steven. Uh, so yeah, that might be something that comes up later. Um, but yeah, like then later that day, he kind of blacks out and wakes up in the Austri- Austrian Alps. Is that where it was? Did yeah, you I had to look that, that up. up. Yeah, I didn't know Nigga, where the fuck it was. Use a nerd. <laughs> I'm just prepared for this. Somebody podcast. really <laughs> needs to put that into a audio meme. Or something. We need to make this a video podcast because that I say that a lot. <laughs> nigga, yeah, you do. <laughs> I nigga don't know use why. Use a nerd. <laughs> it's my uh, tagline, man. You gotta get you one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh and uh yeah then uh, he like stumbles upon I did like the scene where he like wakes up with like I guess his, his jaw, broken jaw. Uh it's obviously a collapsed then, lung. <laughs> he just jumped from a fucking building, dog. Yeah, he he is not in good shape. It's fucked up for him. But I feel more. like that scene was in the trailer where he but he was falling backwards in the trailer. Oh. Maybe we're like, going to get a flashback yeah. of all of what took place in the first episode. Maybe. Like I was kind of feeling that the second time I watched I was like, we're probably going to get a recap of all this. Of, yeah, because it was like a lot. It's a lot. Stuff. Yeah, there's a lot that we I know you didn't watch the trailers. But if you watch the trailer right. for the TV show, like before it came out, like mm-hmm. a lot of that shit was like, you, you, you're like, okay, this is where that should have been. Why right. Is it, why, why is he just waking up in the Alps? Like uh, he was supposed to fall. Like why did that happen? Yeah. Or maybe so, they cut it. I mean, they filmed it and they cut it. Like that's just, what I was yeah. saying. Like, yeah. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully, right. hopefully, hopefully that's not the case. I mean, maybe that is because like I do like the way it. If, I'm just, just saying, if that's the case, then we probably have a bad TV show coming on our hands. I mean, that's not necessarily so. Just because they cut that part of him falling. No, it's out not the just window. that part. Is I said this riddled with. Things that oh, it's like, oh, it's got be, a lot of like, stuff. Oh, that's... man, that was, oh, I thought that was going to be, oh, maybe they'll show it. And right. I'm saying, if we don't see it, there's no nothing saying that we won't have right. a show left. Mm. If we don't see it, though, you have to assume there's going to be a lot of cutting room floor shit. Like, they edited the fuck out of this to right. make it make sense. Mm. That's what we're going to have to, what we'll know. We'll, we'll be able to discern that by the time we get to what, episode eight, nine, whatever, however many of these there are. Right. Uh, so, I'm just hoping. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Just holding out. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't want to watch the trailer just to see to com- like compare. I'll just wait. It's only I'll like the first. Till- you already saw everything that's in the trailer. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait till the end and then. I'm watch saying the, the first, trailer. Episode, the first right. trailer that came out, mm-hmm. the first one before the mo- before the show came out. Oh, so there's like a second one that's just well, like, yeah. You know, they put a trailer out every film. episode right, right. when there's about to be a new episode. They put a trailer out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The little, the little thingy. Um, Man, you can tell. But yeah, y'all can tell this nigga don't got no no cable or no TV at the house. <laughs> he just be listening to, to radio and shit at his house. Just, <laughs> he don't even know that they got trailers every week for the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I'd go back and like rip them so I can <laughs> make videos and stuff. But uh, like, yeah, I, I I just avoid them like the play. I've just gotten really really good at avoiding shit to where the point that YouTube doesn't even suggest it to me anymore. They're like, ah, eh, we know you don't watch this shit. Nobody suggests shit to me. YouTube doesn't <laughs> suggest shit to me. YouTube's still trying to figure out what the fuck I eat for breakfast. <laughs> YouTube can suck my. Oh wait, we're on YouTube. Yeah, now. we're on YouTube. <laughs> I love YouTube. I sign up for everything and I subscribe twice, and I like. I like everything. I like everything on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so like, yeah, he, this is where we're introduced to Ethan Hawke uh, when he's out in the East Austrian Alps. We're actually introduced to him at the very, very first scene. Oh, yeah, the first scene where he puts the glass in his shoes. Which is fucking crazy, yeah. dog. Weird. You ain't even don't really. Don't feel like. You don't need that cane if you don't. <laughs> just stop putting glass in your shoes every day. Yeah, that might be that might have be affecting your walking. Uh, yeah, he's I, like, I need new soles. That's all. I just need new soles. <laughs> no, bro, you keep putting glass in your shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's you that's, don't need. It ain't the Doctor Shoals, baby. It's the goddamn glass <laughs> in your foot. Yeah, that's that's the main problem. <coughs> um, what do you think of Ethan Hawke's performance in this? So far, how you liking him? 
good, bad. All right, where does he rank amongst the the Marvel villains on TV so far? <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. How do I think he's? I mean, he's, he's whispering a lot. I don't know. He ain't did nothing. <laughs> Niggas whispering a whole lot. Ethan Hawke is good. He's embraced looking older. Mm. You know, right? He's like, oh yeah, I like playing an older guy. Mm-hmm. And this is how I'm going to talk when I get old. I'm just going to talk like this. You know, it's about the smiles and the cries. <laughs> I'm waiting on him to say that. Oh. <laughs> I'm waiting on him to say that when he gets ready to like do the little balance thing. Mm. It's, like, <laughs> it's all about, it's all smiles, about the smiles and, the and the cries. Yeah. I bet you he said that on set one day. <laughs> you know what I'm like, I bet he did. I, I really somebody, hope he did. Just, just, hey, it's all about the smiles <laughs> and the cries. Nothing, nothing would make me. I'm sorry happier. you won't live to see the world we built. <laughs> <laughs> now I wish that he said that every single fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> he had it's all about the smiles <laughs> and the cries. Um. Uh, it would make it more interesting for me. I I I I, I, I don't like him on the show. <laughs> uh, I I don't. I mean, I don't know if it's like directing or any, uh, because like I I I really like Ethan Hawke. I liked him in Training Day. Uh, t- the tape is like the, one of the best performances I've seen from him ever. It's a movie that nobody's fucking seen. But him and Uma, Uma Thurman tape. Go watch it. It's amazing. He's incredible in it. But I do not like him in this at all. He's just like dull. Which is weird. Like I don't know. He's just not bringing. I, don't I believe think anything. that his character is going to have a evolution. You know, a growth of where he develops more emotion. Right. As he gets like you see a turn as he's, as he's receiving more adversity. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like, can see that. You got to remember, he's that. like he feels the way he's playing the character mm-hmm. is he's above it. He's above everything because he's been obviously an avatar for several of Egyptian gods. This thing gets around (laughs) Egyptian gods. You know, Egyptian gods, they'd be horny because they don't be getting nobody. You know, don't nobody really just be looking up Egyptian gods. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they horny, they thirsty. (laughs) And he done tapped a couple of them and he's been inside. <laughs> they done been inside okay, him. I'll, have they? Have they? They've been inside him. Okay, I guess yeah. yeah They've been inside him, <laughs> right? <laughs> He's inside of him. Uh-huh. I keep saying that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you they, do. They are inside of him, mm-hmm. and so he's like above, like what's going on, on right? Earth. Like in the mm-hmm. second episode, he's like, oh, don't worry about, don't worry about the wind. <laughs> can't you he can't do anything that's all he can do yeah, without about you hey, oh, hey. you're the one that got to do the stuff for him see I leave him alone <laughs> come on, talk to me <laughs> come, here, come here come here come here Oscar come here Oscar <laughs> put, yeah, I put d- my I hands mean, on you <laughs> <laughs> I just I feel like no. I, I, mean, I get what he's I guess probably trying to I guess what the, I sort of get I'm what saying, the script is trying to do with this I'm character. just saying I think there's gonna build up right the way that they're doing it so timid now, I feel like it's going to turn into something else because he's no way he's going to just be like this seemingly batshit crazy. Right. Old I mean, like, he, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, it's more than just his timidness. I just feel like there's not a whole lot of emotion in his face. Like when he's talking about like how, oh, the I'm, I'm it. We like, she's the, she's going to, yeah, she, she's going to light the way for her. He does get fucking, emotion in his voice when he starts having the conversation with him though. It's funny that you said that because his voice, because I feel like he's, he's doing a really good voice, but I feel like there's fucking nothing going on in his face. Like, no, yeah, no, right here. He does have it going on in his face. He gets more t- tense, intense with him. Oscar Isaac starts getting more like, uh, okay, this is getting weird. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like yeah, I don't know. Maybe so, to each their own. I just, I'm not, I mean, I'm not feeling this. I'm really not feeling this performance. I'm hoping we do see a turn where he gets like, I don't know, uh, a little bit more emotive, a little bit more. You don't scary. know. You first of all, first of all, 
everything you have a problem with is all writing. He said, you've seen him for 10 minutes in two episodes. So everything you have a problem with is just the fact that they haven't told you anything about him. No, the I, most mean, I, you I learned, told you what I like. I'm I've, just trying to let me finish saying what I'm saying. You right. just said a whole bunch of stuff didn't lead to nothing. So, <laughs> okay. I'm just saying you really haven't said anything except that his face didn't get show enough expression, which I just completely disagree with. If right. you pay it to the, your real complaints are all about how he has nothing going on like his you're talking about how he you, you're everything you're saying is just because he hasn't been in the show for okay. 10 minutes but for 10 minutes out of two hours so oh, yeah. they, they when they start explaining his his motives his his the the things that he actually does his day-to-day when they go through all that shit it'll be more flushed out you haven't gotten to see the actual bad part of him yet like what mm. makes this guy the vicious guy other than just touching people and giving them that black dot the black dot! <laughs> right and then they die like clearly there's more to his character than that and they like i said it's been five to ten minutes maybe seven and 45 like seven minutes and 45 seconds mm. of him actually being on television yeah i yeah. noticed that today like i was like okay this is the big bad but we hadn't seen him a lot and we only saw him actually summon the jackal one time. Like he said he was going to summon the jackal and then the jackal showed up later. Right. But then we only saw him summon it once. So like I think they're just not doing a good job of uh, what they're trying to do is balance the mental health part of the show or this character. Mm. And I feel like they stayed on it maybe mm. an episode maybe half an episode too long. You know what I mean? Like, mm. and they should have spent more time building up the, the bad guy. Mm. But I like the whole Mr. Miyagi type mindset right now. You need to be, when you're, when you're dealing with this much power, for instance, Thanos, Thanos's face doesn't change. No one cares. Right. <laughs> but it's not supposed to change. Why is somebody who is that immense, has that much immense power, why would they emotionally change? Why would they physically change a lot? Why would they get angry? You know, they don't get angry because they're not thwarted. And right. they don't feel as if you are significant enough. You're less than an ant. Mm. You're a dust bunny. You don't get mad at dust bunnies when they pop up in your apartment. You just sweep them up. <laughs> <laughs> and I, so I feel like that's the direction they're going with it. Fair enough. Yeah. I just, yeah. Yeah. I feel you. Uh, but uh, yeah, like after, I guess he escapes Ethan Hawke and his like group of gangsters. He wakes up in his apartment. He assumes it's all a dream, but it's not. It's been two days. And uh, yeah, all that shit was really, really real. Uh, what happens after he like, because he meets, because Ethan Hawke jumps on, on, shows up again at the museum. Well, first he misses cat. his date. Then he oh, yeah. meets he Ethan Hawke at the Real sad. museum. Ethan Hawke's like, give me that. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he's like, ho, 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 Ah, nice. Let me touch your hands. And he's like, ooh, you got chaos in you. Which basically he knows that he's got um the goddamn conchu inside of his body. And so he knows because he's had country inside him. You know <laughs> like, oh, this man. is all very dirty. Um, <laughs> this is a kid's show. Jeez. <laughs> um, so then after that, Moon Knight has to whoop up a jackal. Has to whoop his ass. <laughs> I mean, Moon Knight comes to life and yeah. whoops his ass. Yeah. yeah uh, Steven has to succumb to Mark and uh, let him... Let him save his life. Which uh, also, I was like, okay, we're just going to show the suit at the very last second, and now we're not going to see it all the second episode. Watch. <laughs> and I was right. Didn't see the sec- Didn't see the suit again until the very end of the second episode. That cannot continue. Otherwise, this show is going <laughs> to get a fucking thumbs down. Oh, you want all Moon Knight all the time? No, I just want, I don't want to be like, oh, well, we're only going to get Moon Knight every last 10 minutes of every episode. Right. <laughs> 
I mean, I I don't know. What it the seems fuck like the- kind of sense does that make? <laughs> like, oh, I'm only gonna see right. Superman in his in his super suit every t- last ten minutes. Wow, right. well, you know that wouldn't make any fucking sense. Do you? Uh, how many episodes are there gonna be of this? I don't show, know. Do you know. Shit. Now see, that's your job. See, I do <laughs> I do advertising. I do marketing. You do what episode is the next episode? Right. I uh, get hoes to do the sponsors. <laughs> and you hoes, remember Prison? Prison was a sponsor. And you have a problem right. with Prison? Being a sponsor. Uh, <coughs> episode two. Uh, moving Which we've into kind of already started talking about it, but uh, I mean, it's get, sort of. I was just talking about. Yeah, I'm just saying like we already started. I said, I, <laughs> episode two. So, like I said, we uh, already kind of started talking about it. Sort of. Uh, but yeah, after being fired. For getting uh, for, for fucking up singing. a toilet, something serious. <laughs> Which I is, mean, I ain't never fucked up a toilet like that with the, with the dude that <laughs> I have. But apparently, they believe that Stephen Grant just be in there doodling and fucking up toilets. Yeah, I don't know why they thought that he <laughs> he did that, but I guess you gotta just like look at the camera. Wait, would you like, go, what would you, what would you have said? Shit, I don't know. I wouldn't have been like, I guess you were attacked by a creature because you could clearly would not have been able to do this by yourself. We didn't see you walk in there with any After fucking equipment. After you saw equipment. the video, you would be like, <laughs> oh, yeah, this dude got a creature walking around. Nah, I, mean, I, like, like, I was curious about, because he the, the creature, we can't see the creature, obviously, on the camera. You can't. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. But he did crash into some other shit. Why don't we see him <laughs> not crash on camera? Remember, channel? not on the camera. Oh, I thought he at least crashed into that uh, that boss that he like tried to save, but I don't know. He crashed into that, not the and and then he like set it up and he was like, "Oh shit!" And then I thought that he like yeah, but the, jumped on top of it after that. No, but I don't know. I, that, that was a lot going nothing. on. The jackal didn't break nothing. It was very elegant jackal. He knows how to cover his tracks, you know. Well, he knows he's invisible. <laughs> so why am I going to take? I'm going to take advantage of being invisible. Why would I just start touching everything, and make everybody know where? Like, I'm once at? I get you in this bathroom and there ain't no cameras, are going to fuck you up. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. going to get nasty in there. Oh uh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is a uh, this. <laughs> why do you have to? Why a, do you have to go to that? Place? This is an episode. <laughs> this is an episode riddled with stuff like <laughs> why that. Do you, why do you have to go to? Why do you have to with go the there? bathroom? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Go to the bathroom. The jackal went to the bathroom. <laughs> you and the jackal are the one over here doing bad things. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're trying to kill each other. <laughs> like that's not good. It's, Nothing's good about no, nothing. Nothing good was happening in that bathroom. But then Stephen gets fired. <laughs> Stephen goes home. Yeah, Stephen gets fired. It's like it's in the the coldest way too. They're like, do you have any museum property on you? He's like, oh no, I don't got anything. He's like, oh, you still got your badge on, homie. <laughs> yeah, we gonna need that back. He's like, oh, oh, well, okay, I guess it's so. just because. Well, it's it's just because we just so happened to hire another Steven. <laughs> and we've yeah. got a Steven now. I'm gonna and need that. Gonna need that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a crazy world, but he's a nice chap. <laughs> you, you'd like him, Steven. <laughs> As, I don't even have to learn this new chap's name <laughs> Steven Give me the badge Give me the badge <laughs> That was bad man That was bad Fuck yeah. that man You know what Fuck them man Somebody needs to blow up this goddamn fake British <laughs> Museum that doesn't exist in real life Yeah they, they definitely did them a little dirty But I guess like I mean it, it's, it's a weird situation Like no one No one Humanly could have <laughs> Destroy that bathroom like that, but he's also the only person walked in there, so I guess. Hey, that's between yeah. him and the t- in the bathroom. He fired. <laughs> <He's got a> <laughs> very- <laughs> they at least offered him psychological, psychiatric. Yeah, that was help. nice of him. Hey, that's very British. Yeah, we do <laughs> understand that you're all crazy. <laughs> we do have to fire you, unfortunately, because you're batshit <laughs> crazy. They- but here's a pamphlet. All right. Of uh, people who are crazy just like you. They get fired all the time, apparently. <laughs> this yeah. is what you should do. I don't know, and I'm not crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> uh, I do like that they get... I mean, I hope that they go a little bit more <coughs> into like the mental health uh, oh, yeah. issues. And then uh, like also just like the fact that Mark... Even though Mark and Steven are different people, they like both obviously have like wants and needs and like desires and goals. Oh, you uh, so really, very, very, you, that's what you want. You want them to go into that more. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I like I like stories. I like I like stories too, but it could be a story about the goddamn you know show that we're watching, not stories about things that are on Oprah. And, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just saying, like you know, we could have some things that actually take place. Hey, everything's happened on Oprah. I'm sure they based not TV everything. Show. Don't Does nobody somebody... say nigga on Oprah. <laughs> I'm and, sure, uh, oh, well, really? No one. Uh, surely someone said nigga no, on Oprah. She doesn't allow. She doesn't even allow people to say the word nigga. She's fucking. She's the female Bill Cosby. I don't even know what's wrong with you. You don't obviously you don't know yeah, anything don't, or yeah. yeah, obviously I don't, you don't know Oprah. anything about yeah, Oprah. Obviously. <laughs> oh yeah, plenty of people go on there and say nigga. Come on, man. No, no man. I'm just saying like I, I mean Gail be on there saying nigga all the time, I don't, don't it? I was just like surprised, like you know she's been on TV for hundreds of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's been on, she's been on uh, television for four that seven years. Um. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, what were we talking about? Moon Knight. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we're we're talking about Moon Knight. Uh, but yeah, I mean, no, I just uh, I don't know. I mean, I would, look, like I would appreciate like some uh, interesting delving into that kind of stuff because like this, it's like they they tapped into it a little bit. It's, it's I think I'll tell you what they've already compelling. tapped into it too much. That's why you didn't really like the second episode. I'm just telling you. I'm just I'm just saying. Look, the last seven minutes or him arguing with himself. Like I was like, at the, by the end of that conversation, I was like, "Oh, that didn't lead to nothing." <laughs> mm. That was just. I was like, "Oh, ah, they was just doing a whole like, hey, I'm arguing with myself thing right now." That was all that was really just happening. I mean, it's. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit more than like you know. That's all that was really just happening right there. It was. Just, right, he was yeah. him ar- at the end where he's arguing with himself, mm. and Stevens in the glass, right. He's explaining to him what we already knew, what I think I already told you before. Like, I mean, like we already talked about. Before. Yeah, that part was annoying. Where he's that's like, what I'm saying. Remember, we're talking. Like, I mean, that line where he's just see where he says that whole thing. That, I'm just saying. Uh, fair enough. I, I, I look at TV play. like uh, space in a house. Okay. Why did I have to put a wall here when I couldn't have just left the wall out and had more space? Right. Kind of shock deal. That's how I look at it. Utilize sure. the space. As best as possible, you only have a minimum. You only have so much of it. Mm-hmm. You got to utilize what you can where you do. You only have a it's a what it's like a it's an hour TV show that really only is like forty two minutes because mm-hmm. like your credits are like twenty five minutes long or whatever. Mm-hmm. But however long the show is, they don't have much time. And right. that scene to me at the end kind of useless, worthless. Mm. Not yeah, like I mean, fair, I mean you fair could, enough. You could've, we could have sped that up a little bit and got something more, in, or you know, mm. so that we could have got more action scene earlier, like or some more. I'm saying, I suppose. Like, I mean, take, I feel like that was like a 40 second scene. I don't feel like that yeah, conversation it wasn't lasted, no 40 though. seconds. We watching it right now. It's been going on longer than 40 seconds right now. Like it's been we since I started talking about that scene. We've been watching that scene on here. It's literally okay. been taking place the entire time, All and right. it's still going. All so right. people at home, clock it. Because <laughs> right. it's still going right now, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna stop talking about it right now. And it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you think of the Moon Knight fight scene we did actually get at the end? Where he like, well, it was too silly and stupid. Like I said, like uh, no, I mean, like when he actually turns into Moon Knight, and he, oh, that was ten seconds. He ran up just, he ran up the mount, uh, he ran up the uh, building, ran down a couple of buildings. I mean, we got a nice moon silhouette <laughs> right. in the water, and then we saw the moon in the sky, and then he jumped over a building and threw the jackal into, which was nice. I liked it. It was cool. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Well, that's why we should get more of that. If it was, if right. this was a show called Batman, and we'd only seen Batman as much as we have so far, mm-hmm. would you be happy with that? That's what I'm. Let me, let me just throw you that kind of question. Just think about it, that. I'm just saying before you answer that question, right off the bat, just think about it. now. I'll, like you, this, this we've been watching a show about mm-hmm. Batman, and we haven't seen Batman, but two, not even two minutes. You know what I'm saying? So. What would you? How would you feel about a show called Batman that you haven't at this point haven't seen this much Batman? Ah, uh, man, I, w- I guess it would depend. But I would, 
I, I, I don't know. I mean, if it's... You'd be it, pissed off if you just a, seen this little bit. It's, it's two hours now. I, I get what you're saying, but it's also, like, different situations. Like, it also, also it's like, two if it depends on how good it's written. Bro, if it's, if it's you're written, a fan of... Look, there's people out there who fucking love ba- Moonlight. Moonlight, like, you love Batman. Right. I'm trying to... I'm asking you, just straight up. Right, no, I'm, and I'm telling you, you it depends you on how fan. well it's written. If it's, it's good. It's this. I mean, if it's, it's this. Written, I'm no. talking about this. This. I, so I get what this, you're. If this okay. was Batman, okay. If it was if, written, this, if this was Batman, I'm then saying no, if it was written like not written that well. <laughs> that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm asking, yeah. Alex. You're no, you're trying no, to make no, a no, different I'm question. Not, no, I'm, I'm that's asking not you what exactly what you asked. That you is asked exactly if, what I'm asking. If, if there this, was a Batman, you asked if there was a Batman TV Alex, show that we're okay, talking about this. So what what else are we talking about? We're talking about this. So if it was this, you would be you would be mad. Right, oh, you'd be pissed sh- off. You sure. just said it. You yeah. just said it. Yes, you'd be yeah. pissed off. I'll be so upset because this is this is not Moon Knight. This is like let's introduce you to Mark Spector and and uh, Stephen Grant, which is cool for in, you know let's introduce this character to type shit. Maybe they plan on doing a movie with him sometime. I don't know. Maybe that's why they feel like we got to get this origin story flushed all the way out, but. In my opinion, let's just drop the first two episodes or even the first three episodes all at one time if we're going to do it that way. Because right now, not a great TV show. Mm, yeah. Uh, what do you th- do? You feel like we're going to see Blade? No. In this show? No. no. I mean, has anybody been on online saying speculating we're going to see Blade and Moon Knight? I just the speculation just, is that there's gonna be a dark night. I mean black night. Oh um, well, we're gonna see Kit Harrington. Oh you listen. The speculation is that we're gonna see a we're gonna have a black knight blade moon knight movie. Oh. Okay. That'd be interesting. Because they got a lot of material together. I can't remember though name of the comic but they're like the dark something that'd be interesting and it'd be kind of on brand for uh, Disney to not give a black person or a brown person the whole movie but just be like let's put a white dude in there and make sure that like everybody wants to go see it it seems very on brand I, I definitely see that happening uh, <laughs> kind of like they're doing with the Marvels where it's like let's not maybe. give let's not give this the black Marvels. woman yeah the Marvels movie where they're not like you know they're putting Captain Marvel oh. And uh, Tiona yeah. Paris's character, and mm-hmm. fucking Ms. Marvel. The, the I don't know what Pakistani happened. Girl. What I don't know what was her name did. Miss the girl who plays Captain Marvel. Oh, Brie Larson. I don't know what she did, but they do not fuck with her. Yeah, I don't know what happened. She made a billion dollars in her movie, and then they're like, eh. They no, they really don't look. I'm sorry, everybody. This is just changed to a tangent on something else, but. Brie Larson did something because they were talking about it one time, replacing mm. her. Really? Like it, that that leaked out at one point. You can mm. Google it. There's some it's somewhere. The article's gotta be somewhere. That was out there in, but I was like, if they fucking <laughs> if like, they do why? that, then who's gonna who's gonna watch? Why would you go see the new one? The new I don't know. It's like y'all know how many people saw that movie? <laughs> yeah, dude. They on, don't man. fuck with her at all. And look how so, long man. it's been before she even got a green lit movie from her movie in the, the time that the Marvels was. Right. And then she should have had a movie before the Marvels. Yeah, she should have had a movie way before. And she should have be at least signed for another movie after the Marvels. Which that's not the case. Right. Yeah, it's she it's, should be in other motherfuckers' movies. She's the most powerful character in the Marvel universe, but she's not used ever. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little annoying. It's kind of annoying that they, yeah, she didn't uh, even get used in the Avengers. Endgame. Yeah, she, yeah, she she really didn't. I mean, I like the way that they used her in that sort of because like she is so strong. Like, uh, but she but. did something. She did something, Alex. <laughs> they all let it out. She in jail. Yeah, I would have liked it if she would have gotten like a, a Thor Ragnarok type movie because my favorite for Captain Marvel comics are when she's like doing weird shit in space. Uh, I so. still think there's time. There's going to be a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. 
she's out there in the galaxy allegedly right and so, there was a time in where she was a member of the well she was hanging out with the guardians of the galaxy which i think this is the perfect opportunity for this, something like that to take place yeah but but then they just gave it to Thor. <laughs> they just let Thor do, be that guy who hangs out. I don't think he's doing that. I don't think that's what's happening in this. Is he, are they not? Well, uh, I assume that they were going to be in it. Because yeah, remember, of, Thor's going to come out before their movie, so he's right. not going to be able to be just hanging out with them. That's okay. kind of how they played their sending off movie. Like, okay, they, but that's going to have happened. I think you're going to probably see them in Thor movie. Right. And right. the other way around. Gotcha. No, yeah, it's a uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> you see uh, how we, we do got on this all show? the good jokes here. That's right, baby. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but yeah, like to your point, I guess. Uh, yeah, like I don't think that uh, that sounds very right that they'll put uh, Oscar Isaac, Herschel Ali, and Kit Harrington in Blade's like first movie. <laughs> just to say I didn't say that's situation. how the first movie was going. I'm just saying that. That's the rumor is that they'll have a team up movie, right? Uh, yeah, I and mean they have to have yeah. their own movies first right. to do that. Yeah, maybe. Well, no, Moon Knight I've... doesn't because he'll have his own TV show, right? But no, they have the Blade movie and the and the Black Knight movie are already greenlit. So okay, there is no greenlit movie for the three three's company right. movie. I mean, there was a Captain Marvel too before it ended up being the Marvels. That's all I'm saying. Because now it's no, the Marvels. <laughs> no, it was never. It was never called the Mar- Captain Marvel two. It was. It wasn't called Captain Marvel two though. It was said that she was gonna get another movie. They didn't say it was gonna be called Captain Marvel two because they're very strict about how releasing their actual names of the movies. Mm. When they release the name of the movie, they want it to be that is what it's gonna be. They don't want exactly what you just said to happen. Mm. So people may have said oh this and this and that, but like Avengers Endgame was not called Avengers in game for yeah. a very long time. Yeah, that's true. You know, and people were think like guessing which which one it was going to be called like. Mm. So, yeah, man. They, they, Including it, the people who were making it. Which is like so funny because I thought like it's obviously should be in game. Don't you all watch these movies? You don't remember when Tony Stark said in game? Just say in game. And also, <laughs> you don't know the like comic book names of comics like <laughs> Yeah, just like we should come just, on, man. Come on, man. We should just stop playing around with people's emotions. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Y'all should stop trying to guess every goddamn thing on the internet. And maybe these motherfuckers would just go ahead and, like, you know, give us the goods early and shit. <laughs> well, not yeah, too man. early, like Morb- Morbius. The Morbius. Uh, I mean, well, Morbius. I mean, that, that, took, that fucking took forever to come no, out. No, the, so. the, 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 you didn't hear about it. The director fucking leaked the ending like he spoiled the movie uh. he spoiled the whole movie before the movie came out a week before the movie came out hmm. okay uh, apparently he, he he's not very like he doesn't sound like he's very happy with how things turned out with that hey, hey. it's his movie <laughs> so <laughs> if only he was in a position of power to do something about it right i mean well i mean yeah if only he could heard. have contributed in some way <laughs> to make it i mean we've all better. heard about you know, directors i know i know but play. i'm just saying bro come on bro <laughs> it's your bad movie don't sit there like it ain't nobody else's name up under that director spot bro. right that's your bad movie bro. yeah i mean yeah, to, so just to own that shit like, yeah. own that shit like take that shit denzel washington doesn't go Man, you know, fuck that movie, you know, like, oh man, you know, I don't know. no, nigga, he's in some bad movies too, and he's right. just like, hey, wish I hadn't did that, <laughs> <laughs> but that's mine though, <laughs> that's mine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, you gotta own the good and the bad. Even like Josh Trank, who made Fantastic Four, uh, the more most recent one, uh, he even was like. Yeah, that movie was a piece of shit. And he should never show his face in Hollywood again. <laughs> I mean, that was another situation where I feel like, well, one, they, they got the wrong director to do it. That was just like the studio making the you wrong choice. feel like that choice. was the wrong director. I don't, think it, I don't think it matters when you do as much fucked up bullshit as they did in production for this motherfucking movie. <laughs> I mean, First well, of all, like Michael they, B. Jordan should never be. Look, can I just say this? Well, Because we've said this once before early, 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 early in the pod when nobody was listening. Do not we do not need to have a white characters changed into black characters right. just because they're gonna be on television. You know what we call that in hood circles? Samboin. <laughs> call that 
shucking and jiving because they they're so they're serving you up something because they feel like they want to placate to you as black and brown people, which is disgusting. And not to mention, there are a lot, no matter what these fucking white folks keep trying to tell y'all, there are a lot of black comic book characters. Yeah. They just refuse to do movies and television shows about them. There's a lot of them, guys. Yeah. And we and don't have to fuck... We don't have to fucking beg them to create them. Stan Lee created a lot. Jack Kirby created a lot. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think that there's, yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of, like, pandering. Like, like oh, let's make this character uh, female or let's make this character black or let's make this character gay. Just because, like, we want to pander to that to said yes. community. Uh, and, and, like, On I think Young there are ways, Justice, there are ways to... Sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. Well, yeah. I was just saying, there's ways to, like, oh, well, this is interesting. Like, I like the way that they, like, you know, uh, Catwoman's black and uh, Bat- the Batman, then, you know, you kind of use her being a person of color to, like, show the differences between her and her Bruce. I, I like the way that they wrote that. But there are obviously other ways in, like, comic books are just like, but they didn't I don't play know on why. her being black. Like, you could even almost argue that Selena Kyle yeah. in Batman, the Batman, mm. is not black. You could argue that almost. You could. And you could take her race out of it. It could just be like a, a yeah, class cause, thing, cause, too. Because her dad was Falcon, so you didn't see her mom. You could argue. I mean, I'm just saying. Right. In this world mm. that we live in at this point in time, like, you can argue that that bitch wasn't even black, right? <laughs> but, and, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, like, fucking I, Indonesian I, and some shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you don't know, right. you don't know. And and but so I like, a, but it, they, I'm just saying, they didn't play towards that in mm, that movie. They right. didn't like try to play a oh she's black, and right? She broke because she's black, right? But, yeah, but I I do like I mean like I like Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman and Jeffrey Wright as Gordon, but I do like feel like there's you know there's characters like Icon and Static Shock who should have been had movies fucking long time ago that they've just Jim Gordon those. is not a superhero. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Selena Kyle is not a superhero. No, I'm specifically talking about superheroes. Mm, gotcha. Oh, like just like the main and. Super villains. Okay. So, Kingpin didn't need to be black. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Didn't need to be black. I love Michael Clark Duncan. Love him. Why couldn't he have been Jax? Why couldn't Jax, mm. who hangs out with Daredevil from time to time, just been Michael Clark Duncan? And he just like have a, like, a little appearance or just be the homie or whatever or help him out with Jax? something. Jax? Who's. No, excuse me, Luke Cage. Oh, Luke Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah Michael Clark Duncan, Duncan, <laughs> Duncan would have been a cool Luke Cage. Michael Clark Duncan would have been a dope Luke Cage. Yeah, right, Michael Cage has been Luke Cage. Why can't we just do a Luke Cage movie? Why do we have to paint, put this nigga in a role where he has to be this fat old white man mm-hmm. right. and like completely juxtapo- juxtapose what people have been used to for 50 years right. of comics? Right. Well, you know what? I think this is a good place enough to end because I don't think we've talked about Moon Knight for like 15 minutes. <laughs> we, we basically haven't. But we talked about comics and we talked about things that matter that yeah, are coming we, up. We did. We did. And um, and uh, if you actually do want to hear more of us like rant about like fucking comic books and race, uh, we do actually have a podcast episode early, early on where we talk about just... I think it's just called Black Superman. Is that dumb? Is the name of the episode? <laughs> <laughs> well, it uh, is. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> it is the Michael B. Jordan episode. Right, We're talking yeah. about making Michael B. Jordan Superman. Fuck that. Right. <laughs> and if you don't believe that, well, fuck you too. Right. <laughs> it's, it's too black. Super- well, like you know. Uh, we, but back, anyway, back, anyway, 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 anyway. We do have a contest going uh, on. Just make sure you subscribe. Make a comment in the bottom right here at the bottom down there. And then when you're done with that. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> uh, but uh, I uh, do you have any uh, no, I like, don't last have... thoughts about the episode or predictions about like what happens next? Oh no, 
No. No. Okay. I didn't know if you were uh, like. We didn't talk about the wife, girl. Awesomes. Lula, 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 Lula. Oh, yeah, Layla. Layla, Layla shows up in the second cool. episode. Yeah, she was she really. She didn't really do shit, though, so we didn't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, Maya El Kalam, Kalamawe. Damn it. I, I so you took the time to fuck up her name? I looked up how to pronounce her name. Right now. You could have uh, just ended it right there. Nothing, <laughs> nobody would have said nothing. Yeah, you're you right. just, You know what you did? <laughs> you said, no, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get these jokes off right quick. No, I, I had to give her a shout out because she is a really good actress. She, she didn't really did. get to do much except she like didn't. show up and do some mm-hmm. bullshit. Yelling. That whole scene was stupid. Some yelling. Uh, what women do. <laughs> she just show up and do what women do. Start yelling. Oh, yeah. You know, women be yelling. Women, women hey, who in here like getting their dick sucked? Women be shopping. Who, who, who in here like getting their dick sucked, huh? <laughs> If y'all saying? want to hear our 90s stand-up special. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, go check me out on www.drunkmanthas. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I thought that she was good. Egyptian actress. Shout outs to people of color. Egyptian uh, lover. <laughs> uh, but she was yeah. she was good. I hope we see more of her doing actual things. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, you know, so I, <laughs> uh, I, I wanted I to bring to this it, up. This is actually, you know what? You know, I'll bring this up for next pod. Oh, yeah, we don't we need don't to say this now. Uh, we'll bring it up for the Moon Knight pod. You're making pod. me think dirty things about this girl, Egyptian girl. Yeah, go on to the next oh, podcast. Why? Because I said Go on to the next podcast. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for listening to the Drug Bath Podcast. Do we do this every once in a while? So go ahead and leave a like and subscribe so you can get updates on new episodes of the pod and new video essays from yours truly. Check us out on Twitter, IG, TikTok, likewise, all the internet things at Drunk Panthers. Till next time, stay safe, my little Amits. 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 I think it was Amit. And my little Amit. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, let me go back. You know, stay till next time. Stay safe, my little donuts, and may the force be with you. Remember, they say donut as British, they, they're British, so they say donut. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> they don't. Nut.